CES is definitely not a hot spot for cell phone announcements like MWC is, but this event usually brings some new things specifically for the US market. Nokia Mobile will be back at CES, actually HMD America Inc. And the fins can be found in Suite 35 minus 310 on floor 35. There are no other smartphone manufacturers around there, so you can take your time to look at the new products without any distractions. Nokia Mobile has announced some affordable entry-level phones exclusively for the US market at last year's CES, and some of those phones, like the G400, heralded the big design changes coming to Nokia's global portfolio. I doubt there will be a similar radical design change this year, but a new successor to the rugged Nokia XR20 could be announced. There has been some information about the Nokia Sentry phone, a ruggedized version of the G60, X30, which I think is a good base for this type of phone. The XR20 is a good device, but a better processor and camera are needed to make this concept the perfect Nokia mid-range phone, I think a rugged X30 could be just that. Imagine an X30 with wireless charging, 3.5mm audio jack, and an extra hardware button that serves as a shortcut to launch some apps indeed, the Nokia X35 G looks like it even now with its transparent casing, but the only thing I miss is a wireless charging option. Anyway, expect at least 5 new phones and some new audio accessories at CES 2023. There are more applications for new phone designs on the EUIPO page, but some are likely reserved for the phones to be unveiled at MWC 2023. Some competitors will be there at CES, but not a lot of them will be showing new phones. Samsung isn't announcing its FE version, and TCL could be the only true competitor with a range of affordable smartphones. I know you will hate me for the title, but allow me to explain myself. Canalize just released a report that basically says that smartphone shipments in Q4 2022 were down 17% year over year. This is global data, but some markets were hit harder and others less so. Smartphone shipments are also down 11%, which is significant and will pose challenges for all manufacturers. We can blame the increased longevity of smartphones thanks to the new circular economy concept, perhaps the shorter cycles of some models, but the end result will be that more and more smartphones will be built by ODMs and the selling price of real smartphones will increase One thing that could improve smartphone sales is the ingenuity of manufacturers. By ingenuity, I do not mean phones built specifically for a purpose, like the Red Magic 8 Pro with an internal RGB fan and transparent glass on the back. By the way, take a look at how this device bands smiley face. I am thinking of the Nokia 808 and the Nokia 909, better known as the Nokia Lumia 1020, the former introduced the Purview brand with a powerful 41MP camera sensor and the latter brought the improved Purview with a 41MP sensor optically stabilized with ball bearings. Both phones were absolute legends and held on to the top spot in mobile photography for many years. Many still consider them number one because Nokia introduced computational photography to smartphones, which was not as appreciated or thought of in this particular product category. Our Abdullah or MR Nokia did numerous videos about Nokia 808 and Nokia Lumia 1020, but Michael Fisher just took the dust off fine-looking white Nokia 808 and classic yellow Nokia Lumia 1020 and talked about their good and bad sides. This video isn't just a plain review of some old tech but a time-traveling machine that will move you back to the times when smartphones were fun. Something that modern smartphones are not and I only wish the industry could revisit that era again. I recommend watching the video below. The latest smartphones all look the same, so isn't it time to make a change? Nokia ran a great ad campaign for Lumia phones in 2012 that centered on color. The message was simple, hashtag switch. That message was everywhere, and the highlight of the campaign was Deadmau 5's 30-minute live performance in London. Nokia Mobile can't pull that trick today, nor can they use the 200MP sensor that Samsung is rumored to introduce with the Galaxy S23 Ultra, but they can still pull the design card this Moto look we're seeing now is just not the Nordic design we're promised. Although I've to say that some elements have improved, such as the smaller bezel, the simplicity of the aluminium case, and no extra buttons, well, the Google Assistant button. Maybe this great video from Mr. Mobile about one of the best devices Nokia made when the business platform was still on fire got me hooked again. No wonder why MR Nokia is thinking of Nokia NX concept.